Hey guys, uh, it's Equinox. I'm recording a VOD analysis of Bankai vs. Jewel from a while ago. But uh, we think it might be a good example of Robin vs. Zero Suit to study for the Robin vs. Zero Suit JMU right now. Uh, if you don't know, JMU it stands for Joint Matchup Discussion. It's when two Discord servers uh, come together to discuss their character matchup. Um, and to that end, I have a uh, Robin player with me. Go ahead and introduce yourself. So, hello, uh, my name's Ramada. I'm a Robin player from the Robin Discord. So, uh, thanks for inviting me. Thanks for coming. Um, we have a lot of layers to this recording right now so that uh, Ramada and I can share a screen <laughs> while I'm recording it. Uh, so, hopefully, it looks smooth for everybody, and hopefully, this is useful for studying material. So I'm going to go ahead and start the recording and we're just going to give our thoughts on like why the different players are doing certain things, certain things they do well, certain things they could do better, stuff like that. So uh, here we go. We do have the audio turned off just because the commentators were kind of loud. Yeah. And then I'll so, put music over it. Yeah, Robin has like... Jewel in particular has a tendency to like start off games pretty aggressively. Um, not a lot of rounds do that, but like he tried to move forward very big. I like what uh, Bonke tried to go for there with the flip jump off stage to try to flip stool a Robin on his way up. Yeah, especially since a lot of Robins like to recover low with Elwind. It can be a good way to read that. I think it's going to be real important to try and figure out a consistent way for that. Of course, yeah, uh, double jump forward air off the side is good if he's not already too low. Yeah, and like that back air, particularly off stage, is really nice. Like um, that, I think the the eleven swords are so me. Like the falling up air into up air, that's like a true combo. So you really got to watch for that. Oh, that was then. that was gross. Oh god, I hate eleven. I hate thunder one. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, so um, arc fire into like arc fire. That's generally like, at low percents that you can pretty much get that guaranteed. Even at higher percents, it's di. Reading. I can tell Bankai is putting a lot of focus on getting the Robin off stage. Yeah, um, because like particularly like Robin like like Robin's disadvantage isn't terrible, but it's like still can be kind of linear with how they try to. Get and I can tell uh, Jewel is putting a lot of focus on trying to preemptively stuff Bankai's jumps. Like he's uh, like jumping and just swinging the Eleven Sword and controlling as much space as he can. Yeah, and then up the up stage. Um, one, one thing I do notice is uh, Paralyzer oh, okay. is something that most people shouldn't get caught by, but. Uh, it was combined with ledge trapping and the fact that Robin likes to push buttons in the corner like charging thunder and maybe throwing an elf, an elf, an arc fire if they feel safe that let that hit. But if it hits, it should pretty much always be a stock. So Robins should be careful about that. Zero suits can learn from it, but I don't think it's something to make a habit of. There's always uh, stronger ledge trapping. Yeah. I see. I think... Paralyzer, I think Paralyzer clings with like all thunders except except for Thora. At least I think it does. Yeah. Uh, any projectile, any hitbox that Robin will throw out should beat out Paralyzer. Uh, it only does like six percent, so right. even something that does like 0.1 percent will be within the seven percent rule and uh, clank it out. Yeah. Um, I think one thing knows. I think Arc Thunder like gets popped by so like the axe will appear if arc thunder hits paralyzer i but, like, i think that's doesn't... true yeah i was playing with uh um you and that other robin the other day and i think that happened more than a few times so i think you're wait, right wait have we played were you not the the other no, robin? I, I, no I, I was lfa no, that was lfa that's yeah. my bad that's my no, bad you're good you're good okay. uh we'll play for two all right i'm gonna resume the video now sounds good Yeah, that's the one thing about trying to ledge trap ZSS is like, you almost can never do it. Like, even with Arcfire Ledge, it's really tough. Like, that time, he actually makes it work. Yeah, it's, uh, I think that one time before Jewel was thinking that Bankai was going to go to ledge, but Bankai yep. uh, smartly went over it. Um, if Zero Suit has a choice, she should always try and go over the ledge, 
unless like the robin's obviously sitting there waiting for uh to to catch the flip jump or catch the jump in or whatever yeah because you can uh, catch with the nair at ledge yeah and then if that happens if because of nair's angle if uh flip jump gets caught by it then she almost definitely dead yeah one thing i'm noticing is that jules actually not holding his items that much in this game like whenever he gets the eleven sword item he just throws it out immediately so i'm actually curious why that is uh i would think maybe he's not comfortable with the does he drop aerials god damn it's so strong yeah 11. uh i think it's probably less comfortable like using Z drop 11 aerials on the fly and he'd rather just be able to have his aerials readily available because if Robin doesn't have those aerials then they're just going to get steamrolled by uh, letting Zirsu jump yeah that's fair because um, I know that Robin like I know that Jewel is definitely very comfortable with like I, with his item play like he's do he all like in other matchups he'll do a lot of like dribbling and things like that and, and make sure he has access to both like the item and the, like his aerials but i'm curious if like that's particularly because of the matchup or because this is like almost a year ago and he hasn't put the practice in at the time i'm actually curious yeah i can definitely see either one of those being the case it's like that's part of the hard thing about studying a matchup that isn't too common is you don't get the luxury of having a recent high level vods to pick necessarily yeah i'm gonna resume that hopefully now, uh, while these replays are playing, what do you think would be a stage that Robin would ban against Zero Suit? Um, so from what I've talked, let's see, let's see, so let me look at the stage list real quick, just to be sure. Um, so, oh, see, oh, University, that's interesting. Um, so I think against ZSS, I've, um, from what I understand, Yoshi's story is a really good ZSS stage, right? Um, she likes it a lot, um... Not necessarily against characters with big swords, though, because they can shark a lot, and it can be hard for her to get her movement going in the in the that center area. Uh, when I was playing with some robins on Wi-Fi the other day, I know I had a hard time trying to take stage control, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the height that the platforms are at makes it kind of hard to full hop up and down freely for movement mix-ups. I see. And uh, they can, like, thunder and arc fire from the center of the stage. And it can be hard to jump over it and still get a punish. Yeah. So, it, um, personally, I would always ban Smashville. I'm just, I don't like the stage in general for Robin. Um, that, at least that's just based on how I play it. Jewel might, um, like, because for me, it's like, it messes a lot with, like, the arc fire angles. Like, you just, like, just because you can, because of, like, the giant center of the platform, you, it's, like, very constrained with, like, how you can utilize it. Um, I think in this case, um, probably, and I, I promise I'm actually not super comfortable with the Unibus. I don't really know if Drew would ban that. Town maybe because ZS has to get some really early kills with like, um, with like, um, with her upbeat, like at the ledge. And so I think probably Town is a ban. I'd probably ban, I would personally ban Smashville, but I'm not sure if that's what Drew would do. Yeah, and that, that part about early kills on Town is definitely true, especially if she gets uh, platform resets on the high platforms, or if she just gets one of her nice confirms, uh, confirms off the side because of how close the side blast zones are. Um, just, like, it's not, like, relevant here, but if Island, if Yoshi's Island were legal, I, that's an insta ban every time. Because you, you just can't get the arc fire less trapping on that stage. Like, every other stage you can do it, but that's, like, the one stage you can't do it. Okay. Uh, I mean, we were talking earlier about uh, arc fire ledge trapping not being as effective against ZSS. So, do you think not being able to do it is uh, enough to warrant uh, a ban every time, even though it's something that might not be that strong anyway? Let's see. I think so for two reasons. One, it's got, for me, it's a similar problem to Smashville with like the center platform, where I just don't like that center platform existing. Um, the second reason is that even though ZSS has a lot of ways out of like that ledge trapping situation oh hold like, on, the hold fact on. That you are you see... are you talking about yoshi's island the one with the middle platform or are you talking yeah. about yoshi's oh. story or no i'm talking about island island I, i'm just saying that even though it's not legal here i'm saying if it were that'd be a ban every time oh gotcha yeah that's definitely zero suit's strongest stage oh really okay yeah like, it's uh it's got a really high platform so she can get platform resets on it um 
and she can just stay under it in shark for days with uh, safe aerials and her up smash and stuff. Oh, uh, so Yoshi's story is like a really is a, okay. Gotcha. Yoshi's story is also really strong, but for uh, I guess the the platforms still help a lot, but it doesn't have the like the center area isn't easily controllable just by sharking. Uh, the right. thing with Yoshi's Island is that um, she could stay under the middle and force you to either try to like go for the 50-50 platform landing or yeah. just go land on the corner. And obviously she wants everybody to be in the corner because that's where she gets her stronger confirms. Yeah. Um, one thing that I'm curious if this is going to go... Well, actually, we can probably get to this when... Because like, I think Jewel will be losing this game. So we can probably talk about picks. I, I can talk about Robin picks like going into the third game probably. sure if i'm if i'm bankai i don't think bankai is the type to play lame if you <laughs> were i would probably say that kalos might be a strong pick um just because there's plenty of space to run away uh town is strong for both but it is a wider stage uh so if he's going to be doing a lot of approaching then it might be difficult, but when he gets the, the neutral win, it's a lot stronger. Um, if if uh, Jewel doesn't ban Battlefield, I would expect him to pick Battlefield. Uh, Smashville if he doesn't ban it. Uh, but... Yeah, let's see what they do. And, like, no one goes to Unova. Wait, wait, is it still legal? Even nowadays? Okay, okay I mean, he just went yeah. for the run back. I keep forgetting to do my push to talk, so hopefully when I get the recording, I don't, I'm not <laughs> missing too much. Hopefully. But yeah, ps is like, again, balanced stage. I really like PS2 for Robin. Like, I think, I just, I like this age a ton. It just offers a ton of at, bunch for us. I can tell at the very beginning, uh, Jewel had a, a different approach to the beginning of the match, where like at the beginning you said that he was kind of like holding forward. This time he yeah. went to the ledge and started going for Thunder, but that immediately made it easier for Bankai to pester with Zare and stuff, and now yeah. Jewel's off the stage at 67% 15 seconds into the game. Yeah, and honestly, I think being aggressive against Robin at the very beginning is such an important part because we we don't start off with Lemon. Yeah, so, so Zero Suit's allowed to jump for free at the beginning, yeah. pretty much. Yeah, pretty, the first 15 seconds of Robin's game is pretty much always losing because of that, and particularly in this matchup where Lemon is so important, you just, it pretty much is survival until that happens. Okay, so good on Bankai to take advantage of that and push his advantage as soon as possible. And then as soon as Robin gets the 11, you see it. Yeah. I hate it so much. Yeah. Um, that was a nice, like, little grounded view reverse to kind of snuff out the, um, the jumping approach. Yeah, and now uh, Jewel can really start playing his game from the corner. Oh. Is he going to make it? That's nah, busted! That. Elwin is... Dude, Elwin is busted. You're right. Okay, actually, uh, that was kind of a whiff punish over there. Because, like, if you ever, kind of, if you have a missed arc fire in neutral, that should always be a punish, like, every time. Yeah, definitely. I think uh, it might be maybe some, like, early game, like, unconfident controls. Or oh, yeah. maybe he's just a little shook. Yeah, he got the punish there. That was, like, an that indirect was, punish, but. Yeah, that was, no, that, I, yeah, that was very good. It's uh, definitely true that Robin should never be able to get away with uh, using arc fire in neutral. Uh, or like L Thunder, unless it's part of a trap. Uh, yeah. And it, uh, of course, this is assuming offline where you can reliably react to things. But of course, of course. Uh, yeah, those two in particular are pretty laggy, and the projectiles are slow. So Zero Suit should be able to easily flip jump or full hop over them, and then get a landing aerial punish. So I'm actually really curious about like I mean, Robin likes to charge off Thoron. Okay, there we go. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Let's go back and see that. Let again. me rewind that. Okay, so Robin's getting pestered in the corner, and then what happens from there? 
gets a small hit, reads, Ooh, okay. reads, reads the, the landing on the platform, right? and then covers it with Thoron. And every oh. hit of Thoron is is uh, strong, right? So it's not like yep. a bunch of weak multi hits and then a finisher. It's just Honestly. all finisher, pretty much. Yep, exactly. If you get hit by any part of it, you're done. Although I am curious if like there's anywhere to land at that point because Rob, like because Jewel is falling with. Yeah, the only option would have been to double jump or stall the landing, like clip jump or something. Yeah. I'm noticing, like, Jules is utilizing, like, Nosferatu's a little bit more. Um, like, I think that's mostly just because he thinks he has a better read on where Bankai is going to be landing, where he's going to be holding. Yeah, he's definitely adapted well, and he's, he's definitely moving a little bit more, too. He's doing a pretty good job of being making himself hard to hit while his Levin's recharging. Yeah. Um, pretty much, like, essentially that's kind of like a part of it, like trying to like evade and whatnot while your Levin is recharging. Oh, and that was, that was a nice little viewers, but the Paralyzer stomped that out. Yeah. Nice, uh, Zare him onto the platform and then followed up with the, uh, bear. In that case, he slid off of the platform, but if he got a mistech, then he would have been able to hit that. Like, I think right there, um, actually at like kind of like that ledge trapping situation is like an example of the sort of 50-50, where like either ZSS goes to ledge or they just avoid it. Definitely. He's yeah, he's definitely doing a good job of making sure that he converts as many hits as he can into off stage situations. I am really surprised that up air hit, not gonna lie. But ZSS is really tall, so I guess Oh yeah, she's she's huge, especially during animations where she's standing at full height. Ooh, I I heard that Thunder uh Uncharged Thunder can start combos, but that was yeah. definitely a good example. Yeah, let me, let me rewind that forward, too. Pull it forward and then like, yeah, you can just like you can like start combos, you can extend combos with that. Especially if you're reading a jump, you can get that to like a generally a nair is safest based on like. Okay, I think that was a good idea of Bonkai to try and grab him out of the. Yeah, there's the thunders. Yeah. It was it was a couple of short hop forward thunders into a short hop nair. Um, and like if you think that like yeah, like if the ZSS is like short hopping a lot, the Robin player can like can get that thunder to snuff it out and then really get a punish off that. Gentleman's grab from Robin is so strong, like it will kill super early. At, at yeah, the I was dying to that like a roll length from ledge at like one ten. Yep. Like that's one of the really like. That's why rolling from ledge against Robin is super dangerous, especially if there's space bomb. Uh, and then, yeah, it didn't, that, didn't quite make it. Yeah, I think I think it. Um, actually, can you rewind a little bit? I think he just didn't keep track. Of, I, 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 yeah, he didn't have the Elwin charge. I'm just I'm curious if like he could have made it back, or like, or if he just didn't like remember, or if he just like didn't remember that he didn't have it. Okay, yeah. We can, yeah. And then he reads the full hop. Yeah, he's definitely uh, conditioning Bankai to be more wary about where he uses flip jump uh, around the ledge. And it's so like it's so low commitment for Robin to cover that because Fair isn't very laggy. Yeah. Yeah, I can see the Elwins has a really low charge after that recovery. Him off stage. So like he goes left, that because he thinks he has two charges. Okay. So that that was uh, definitely only one charge. Yep, that was only one charge. I think because otherwise he should have like if you like if you aren't dead to the bottom blast zone, you're probably able to make it back with two charges. All right, that's annoying, but uh, like, very... obviously I'm, I'm I'm exaggerating a little bit, but um, Zero Suit has a complicated time um covering very low recoveries like that so the fact that he can recover from so low and very quickly too uh like he he ascends quickly is kind of annoying for Zeus yeah. to try to cover uh mitten was talking about like maybe you could drop zone uh plasma whip since it lasts a while and then that could hit them like under the stage or maybe away from the stage uh drop zone fair but they recover they, they require good timing, so it's not like something you can just throw out. That makes sense. Also, I'm going to pause real quick. Sure. So, yeah, I guess they oh. just uh, felt like just running it back to PS2. 
Um, let's see, I do want to kind of like make a couple notes about like stages in particular. Um, the slants on Lila and Yoshi's story, like, like Jewel isn't like doesn't normally like he doesn't like to play like a, a super like still game. Like he sometimes will, but particularly this time he's like very like movement heavy. You can like stand on the slants and. I think you sh I think like at least L Thunder should be able to catch even a crouching like ZSS, at least if they're not also on the slants. Uh um, standing or uh crawling zero suit goes like, under all all forms of uh like, thunder. At least like I know I'm like grounded, but I'm saying like if Robin's on the slants. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Outside. Definitely. If so that so, uh the projectile is closer to ground yeah. level when she's on it. Yeah, that makes yes. sense. So, like, on those two particular stages, that's, like, one of the reasons why it is reasonable, like, to go, um, one, like, to one, two. But, like, Bankai wasn't really utilizing, like, crawling that much in those matches, so yeah. it's not super relevant, I don't think. But there's, there's um, things. I do want to point out that he banned FD and, uh, Kalos, probably because he's, uh, trying to avoid dealing with the projectiles directly. Yeah. So, like, he wants platforms around so that he can have better movement, better landing traps, that kind of thing. He's not really intending to play defensive. If he was, then I still think that Kalos would probably be a pretty good pick. Um, FD, probably not a bad pick either, but it doesn't have the platforms to, for Zuzu to extend on. Uh, and Robin can be kind of a nasty landing trapper yeah so uh, i can understand the the picks i personally would probably ban um i would probably ban lilat and maybe fd maybe ps2 but it seems like bankai and jewel are both just very comfortable on ps2 so left it Which open and it just uh that's fair so let's get game three started. The immediate thunders. He's trying to scrap his way to his le uh, eleven charge this time. Yeah, he's trying to like just just keep him at range. Just don't let him near. Yeah, up smash is. I, I think up smash is super good against like Robins that jump a lot. Oh, that was a nice roll read. Yeah, and uh, Jules definitely off to a really hot start. Uh, up smash is really good against full hopping robins definitely it's really good against full hops in general but it is a commitment so sometimes zero suits can get a little bit too trigger happy with it and then they get kind of bopped for throwing it out like on shield or something when they read a jump it's sure. i think it's something that's best used as a as a reaction yeah that makes sense that was, that killed them. that underestimating the end lag of robins uh, forward air is something that is will constantly be a hard thing to deal with for somebody who's Absolutely. not familiar with the matchup. It's like uh, it just by looking at it, it looks like it's about as laggy as like Joker's back air. So he yeah, can yeah. Uh, de very easily throw it like a full hop forward air and then get a landing sweet spot back air to cover himself if he jumps over yeah. you. Yeah, one thing that you'll often see a lot of Robins do. Um, is that like they'll do like a full hop, they'll do like a full hop there and then they'll do like a landing there and that covers like that just covers a lot of space but you'll also sometimes see that as like a different kind of ledge trap like you can like use the like the full hop fair to read a jump from ledge and then if you like if they end up usually get up or like get up attacking the falling air will catch them at ledge um the only thing that cut doesn't cover is roll so you'll actually see that a couple times as well yeah so it's important to get comfortable reacting to the full hop uh forward air so that you can punish it before he has an opportunity to throw out uh, an aerial after that. It seems like uh, Jules scrapping has led to Bankai blocking more, which is letting um, Jewel get more charges in, uh, grabs a little bit more, but he still ends up putting himself in the corner a lot more than I think he should. He uh, he does read the like the like the missed ledge there, rather nicely. I think Jewel was like expecting like a flip dunk 
flip jump back on the stage. Yeah, expecting the aggressive option makes sense considering how oh, Bonkai's yeah. been playing so far. Yeah, so El Thunder does clank with um, the Paralyzer. Um, also, like right there, um, if yeah. the Robin throws out the Art Fire, so I, I've this has happened to me so many times. The ZSS can flip jump kick, oh, like over it, and then actually get the grounded, like on the Robin, because just because of the spacing. She, the hard part is getting all the way through the fire with the, uh, before the intangibility of the flip jump runs out. Um, she, the intangibility starts on frame three, so by the time she starts moving, she's already intangible. But the the intangibility ends at the top of flip jump, so she has to have done like half of the arc before the intangibility runs out if she wants to get all the way through. I uh, see. The hard part I see here is that the arc fire is so well spaced on the ledge that. Uh, it's hitting Bankai when he tries to let go of the ledge, and uh, it's actually hitting him when he tries to boost kick up back to the ledge. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he, yeah, just caught him before he even got to the ledge to begin with. But I think he's about to like get through it on the next arc fire. So like this repeat arc fire is about to get on. Yeah. So let's let that resume. Okay, so no, yeah. that one. The third. Yeah. So it's something that uh, Robins should be careful of. But, so, like, I would recommend not to throw a second arc fire. It's, like, just try to time one for when she snaps to the ledge, if you think she's going to snap to the ledge. And then just go from there with, like, throwing thunders to try to read the jumps instead, or throwing out 11 aerials. Yeah, 11 there is generally the safest. Yeah, okay, there was I some think, nice item I play think, there. I think that backward thunder was absolutely intentional for the thunder book to come out behind. Yeah, there's lots of robins I see that intentionally use the book discards as like a baits or as zoning. So that I like, I really like when um, robins throw their items upward, just because like they create that sort of zone, so that if like the other player does approach like before the item comes down, it's just like it's it's just that threat, that looming threat. You can see. Uh, Jewel had a really low wind charge there, so I think if he's not out this time, he's going to be out next time. I can't see if it's already not. recharged. Okay, it recharges like, super fast, huh? It's a super fast recharge. Um, also, you saw like there was like a little shine um, around Robin. That's how you can tell an item is recharged. Gotcha. I think that goes for every item. That was also, that yeah. was ugly di. Yeah, at the end there, Jewel just started to get a read on Bankai's aggression, and Bankai just got more and more flustered yeah um jewel has like a like one thing i will say is that jewel like plays differently from a lot of robins i'll see he, he, he's just such an aggressive player i find particularly at this point like of his play like you'll often see a lot of robins just like in general are a little bit like they're a little bit more like hesitant to go and they're a little bit more like okay to be in the corner or whatnot but like i don't know um just the way jewel like jewel plays it's he played much more like a sortie than other Robins I've seen. And I think that's the best way to play against uh, Zero Suit is definitely using more of the sword than using the projectiles. Um, Bankai didn't play as well against the projectiles than I think he could have. Uh, like we talked about, he didn't really use crawling, um, so he was easily conditioned into jumping at the sight of a projectile. And that was actually what cost him uh, at the end. Yeah. Like, Jewel throws out a bunch of moves. And yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna like, I wanna play this really slowly because I just wanna make sure I saw what I thought I Yeah, so he's gonna like flash the Arc Thunder facing to the right. Oh well, let's see. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. So he does. So he B reverses the arc thunder because he like he knows ahead of time. Like he, so, I think it's even less about the thunder and more just utilizing, just utilizing the thunder to, like to reverse his momentum. And like that's something that you'll like often see is like it's not even about the thunder. It's just about like the momentum shift. Like that's yeah. Really all 
the the momentum shift from thunder b reversals and stuff is definitely huge for robin because uh, robin's airspeed is definitely nothing bad and the fact that they can charge and then immediately jump cancel it allows you to do things like that uh, yeah. but i think it was combined with uh the conditioning to jump when he saw l thunder oh for sure um because he didn't like he didn't be reverse it and then immediately jump he deliberately charged it for just long enough for the audio cue to register in bankai's head and then allowed him to respond to it but jewel had the response downloaded already yeah uh so i think you can oh sorry you can go ahead I, I think that's really important takeaway for zero suits to have is not to let yourself be conditioned to jump at a range where uh, a jump forward forward air from Robin will hit you uh, or Levin there. I think they have about the same horizontal range. Uh, yeah. Um, it's just that like fair has a bit more underneath um, like of a hitbox because like he's like Robin like swings from behind arcs down and then forward. Where's an air just like forward backward? Yeah, it's if you're going to jump at that range of zero suit, it should be a full hop, because uh, that can be a lot harder for Robin to catch. Like even if he gets the read, it can be harder for him to to actually get the punish on it, or get used to clanking out the L Thunder with paralyzer shot, or a crawling under it. Like you need to have responses in mind besides trying to to short hop over it. Yeah. The one thing I always love to see when playing against ZSS is when the ZSS comes in with a short hop. That is like, that's just a free 11 aerial every time. Yeah, like, definitely. So, yeah, so like you mentioned, like full hopping, because like fl ZSS has such a high full hop that like sometimes like a full, like sometimes it's just like can't reach it even with an up air. Like, so it's just, um, so it's actually, pre it is pretty safe. It's just a matter of landing that can be a little um, dangerous if you full hop. Yeah, so she should be mindful of how she lands after the full hop and, like, trying to make sure that she doesn't exhaust all of her tools. Like, yeah. uh, flip jump used well can be hard for Robin to cover, but if used so that they can cover it the same way that they cover a full hop or a short hop, then it's going to get stuffed out. And then you get hit off stage without flip jump, and then your horizontal recovery gets neutered. Yeah. Like what, like one thing I saw particular like particularly that Jewel was doing a lot in the first game is he was going like rather than for a lot of ledge trapping, he was going for a lot of edge guards, like just going off and trying to get the ZSS before the ledge situation even occurred. Like this is all back in like even the first game. Yeah, so um I think in the first game they were they might not be as familiar with the matchup as they get to be in the like in the subsequent games. Right. So they're still trying to feel each other out. Uh, you can see, like, Bankai doesn't really try to edge guard low very often. Um, he gets, like, double jump forward airs, but that's about as low as he wants to go. Um, yeah. And then Jewel is still trying to figure out how to deal with uh, Zero Suit's recovery tools. Like, once she's in the air, gosh, it's so hard to get around. Uh, yeah, and there's just the thunder in there. Like, if you get hit... Yeah, I think someone was actually talking in the JMU earlier. If you get hit by a Thunder off stage, you're pretty much dead because that can just combo into Nair. And because of the horizontal distance that sends you in, that's you're just going to die. Yeah, even if they're not in a position to follow up directly, it's still a really bad place for you to try and recover from. Yeah, because, like, ZSS is, like... Because her up really doesn't have any horizontal movement you have to use slip jump kick for like horizontal well recovery. there's also tether oh, but shit. tether doesn't oh, tether. tether doesn't uh go as far as it used to and it doesn't have that high of a of a vertical range i see and you also like can't use it after the like up so like it's kind of yeah definitely there. i think this was good um if there's anything else you want to add uh i'm happy to keep talking but i think this is uh long enough so far yeah no i think this is i think this is definitely good um like in there will obviously be more conversations and whatnot throughout the week and weekend um so yeah All hopefully right. get back to playing then i'll be i'll be definitely hyped to play as many zss people as i can okay hopefully the video turned out well thank you for joining me in uh analyzing the vod for mata yeah it was my pleasure thanks for um thanks for the invite all right uh
and I will link the Zero Suit Discord in the channel description or in the video description when I upload this on YouTube, uh, if it turned out well, um, so that anybody who wants to join in the discussion can um, put your comments below on anything that you notice that you think we missed or anything like that, and we'll be happy to take a look at them.